Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Cliff with Pan Flamingo Power Wash. Got another review for you guys today. I'm out working in Lutz, Florida. I'm here for a customer that called us about a driveway cleaning. Um, she found me through a yard sign I put out. Um, if you guys are not doing yard signs, you're brand new to the business, that's a great way to get customers. Uh, I usually order about 100, 100 at a time. I do get the one-sided stakes, um, one-sided signs with uh, 10 inch stakes or 12 inch stakes, I think, I think they are, uh, just the short stakes. But the signs are big, they're the 24 by 18 signs, it's not the little small ones. Um, like I said, she found me through the sign, she gave me a call, I'm here to do this dirty driveway. So you guys, the driveway is infested with mold. <laughs> She got a lot of trees around. Pretty much all her neighbors in there is done. So when I leave here, I'm gonna leave them a, a card. You know, hopefully I get a call. But this driveway here, we're gonna pre-treat it with the uh, downstream mix using the super sud sucker. Uh, probably gonna let it dwell for about 10 minutes and it should melt like butter. We're gonna be doing this little walkway up here everything up here on the front door. And she did mention she wants the um, fascia done on this garage up here. So we're gonna clean all that up there. I'm gonna go ahead and wash her garage door for her too, you know, in exchange for a five-star review. So um, I already told her, I'm not gonna charge her for this. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna exchange it for a five-star review. So she's cool with it. And I already know I'm gonna do a great job on the driveway. All right, right now I'm filling up my buffer tank. And um, we're gonna start downstreaming the uh, driveway. Y'all stay tuned. the garage and the garage door i'm gonna go switch my uh three-way ball valve or my downstream injector to rinse it out so i'll make it last a little longer and um let this dwell for a little bit more before i use the surface cleaner
right, we are done over here. Driveway is looking spectacular. Got some tinning stains right here. You guys know that, that doesn't come up with um, surface cleaning. We're gonna post treat those with a 50-50 mix of SH. Those little spots right there, like that. And we'll be done. Let me show you guys. I also got some stripes too. I just noticed that. Got some stripes right there. You guys can tell. Pressure washing police about to go crazy. <laughs> it take care of the tanning stands for us my lines already gone no more lines all right guys we're gonna pack it up and head into the second job for the day man see y'all there all right guys we're at the second job for the day uh right now we're in seminole florida which is uh area of tampa it's like a historic area in tampa um a lot of older houses over here Lately, they've been trying to fix them, make them look better. But uh, like this house was uh, like a dark color house before when I looked at it up on, uh, on Google, but now it's painted. Look like it hasn't been painted too long. I'm gonna be doing a house wash for them. Nice little house. I'm also gonna be doing a little driveway. It's not a full driveway, obviously. But um, this concrete here look like it was just added. It looks kind of new still, so therefore, I, not, I will not be using the high pressure on this. I'll probably just hit it with a hot mix and just uh, soft wash it. It looks pretty clean already. It's got a couple little spots on it that need to be touched up. So, yeah, I'm gonna definitely protect that. Minimal uh, algae over here. It's got some cobwebs on the gutters. And it got this little porch back here I'll be doing also. Definitely gonna be soft washing this. No need for pressure. Probably gonna hit that with the downstream mix and just rinse it off with the um, with a ball valve. Got some cobwebs over here, but for the most part, as you guys see, there's no algae on the house. It's pretty much, you know, just cobwebs and stuff like that. So got some cobwebs over here. All right, we're gonna start by downstreaming from this corner here and wrapping around. downstream the whole house like I said it's a small house so I was able to lap around and hit everything so it's been about 10 minutes or so since I started so that side where I started should be ready to rinse I'm gonna cut my injector off so I can get some clean water and rinse that, uh, the house off all right now it's time to rinse Boy, 
boards, I like to rinse sideways so I don't push water up and under the boards. Sometimes you got a little weep holes after you leave, they start draining, and it's gonna leave streaks on the, on, on the board, so I rinse sideways. I know a lot of people ask sometimes, do you take the screens out to uh, rinse? I personally don't, because some of the screens be real brittle, and I don't want to be try I don't want to be uh, blamed for that, you know. So therefore, I don't remove the screens. If they do want the screens removed, it's gonna be extra. guys we all done over here with this job for the day did the house wash also the driveway everything came out great this is the last one for the day probably gonna do some maintenance on my equipment right now it's only almost one o'clock so I got the rest of the day to do this all right man so I appreciate y'all checking out the videos subscribe to the channel I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.